हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू अनदर लैंडस्केप ट्यूटोरियल पेंटिंग सो दिस इज़ द पेंटिंग विच वी विल बी डूइंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो हियर द कलर्स विच वी आर यूजिंग इज द सेम कलर्स विच वी यूज इन आर प्रीवियस पेंटिंग इज जस्ट द वर्जन इज डिफरेंट बट हियर आई एम यूजिंग माई राउंड ब्रश सो लेट्स टेक दिस येलो एंड ऑरेंज मिक्स and start with the background so just covering the middle part first with my round brush and i've just you can see i've just put the masking tape in the center and drawn a little bit of uh, landscape in between then a little bit more of yellow just covering the uh, upper part now here also you have to make sure that don't use too much of water only on your brush the water should be there not more than that so only that much amount of water we need and then just washing off my brush and then we'll use this violet and white mix little more of violet and this pink also and i'm just covering the upper part just covering the upper part of the sky and trying to blend these two colors together so you can see when you are blending it don't press your brush do it very lightly then only that blending will be perfect so now let's do the below part so here we are making the uh, river for the water effect where the same color this is the same violet color which i am using here on the sides one side it is a bit of violet and in the center it is a bit of orangey shade so that's what we want over here so i'm leaving the center part and just covering the sides of it So you can see I have used very less amount of color and more of white. So white is that much important. So now this orange and yellow and white mix in the center just covering it the center part. Slowly slowly we are moving towards the detailing. We have done our background, foreground, the middle ground is left and the detailings are left. so let's uh, add more of this uh, why this uh, yellow and white mix because it is quite bright in the center so we want it little more brighter by just adding white to this lemon yellow we'll make it more bright and just taking more of white and lemon yellow and trying to add more yellowish to the center part exactly where the sun is setting or you can say the sun is rising so this is the part so it should be little should have little glow to the center part then to the sides so that's what i am trying to do over here so now let's add little bit more of purple and white mix and i'm just trying to add more of it on the upper part just trying to blend it more whenever you are doing any blending or any some anything just be patient and do it very slowly because it takes times to learn it happens that sometimes in the first go you will not be able to blend it sometimes the colors will be more and less or some uh, many things happens so don't get uh, demotivated try at least two three two three times and then only it will come up you will know your mistakes so try to practice it at least 30 minutes daily so that you can get hands on on your brush as well and on your colors as well 
so practice is very important actually so now here i'm creating this water effect as we did earlier in our uh, paint previous paintings as you remember if you haven't checked it please do check it there are many videos which i have already uploaded with this uh, how to use this texture details so just adding black and purple to the sides adding little more wider thing to the sides of the water wider lines just using the tip of the brush don't use too much water just the tip of the brush and creating lines so you can see how the lines i'm creating with my flat brush and with just the tip of the brush we'll also create some more lines with the lighter colors that is in the center so just orange white and a little yellow mix and trying to cover the center part Now let's add more details to the center part of where the sun is setting. So just adding more of white and yellow to the center to make it more bright. So just the center part and then let's start with the further detailing of the reflection. So same color dry brush technique and just the reflection with white and yellow mix the reflection the more white you use the more brighter the reflection will be and try to use lemon yellow color instead of using cadmium yellow Let's add a little bit more of uh, the textures to the water, mixing this black and violet color and just adding more of textures to the sides, just creating the line. I'm just trying to create it both the sides. Just making it little towards the orange part also so that it looks like a mix of orange and purplish shade this uh, water painting is a bit tricky but you will get it if you follow each and every step of mine so just taking out the center part of the tape and here we will create some nice uh, landscape with black first i'm just outlining it and then i will try to fill in the colors so here i'm using my round brush for doing this So just trying to make the center more orangey by adding orange color and to the sides same black color and blending it with black. So little bit of orange shade in the center and rest everything is black. So I'm just covering the entire thing with the black color. And little textures on the above side 
so this is the it and then we'll create some side trees and a little bird a duck which is floating in the water so just the side trees first i'm just creating the branches with my round brush and then i'll just create some nice leaves which are and branches which are visible from the side part of the side part um, some branches here and there to the sides And the leaves like we do when we create the flower just press and release press and release and creating a nice leaf texture Now let's create a nice uh, bird floating in the water. First the structure I am creating and if you have any issue while uh, doing it directly with black color you can first draw it and then do the filling. I am just using the black color to create this uh, whole uh, shape of the bird. simple duck which is floating inside the water on the surface of the water and if you guys are trying out this painting do tag me on my instagram that is mohini art gallery and if you have any questions any queries you are always welcome you can ask me in the comment section you can dm me on my instagram that is mohini art gallery these are very simple basic paintings for the beginners which i have started uh, teaching this year and already two to three videos i have already uploaded you can check those as well and this is the painting so there are many steps and techniques which i have taught and the brushes which i am using everything i have explained it very well in my previous paintings as well so here also i am creating some branches to the sides So on both the sides there are trees with branches so I'm just uh, depicting the branches with leaves you can also create a full tree and draw the same uh, painting and this is a different technique here I'm using here the filbert brush dry brush and just creating some textures of the leaves so this is another type of texture painting of the leaves which you can do it and use your dry brush with very small amount of color on your brush and just the tip of the brush with very light pressure you have to create these uh, effect so this is it and thank you for watching